Hey, this is Mike. I'm here with the developer board for Pine64. It's 1 gig um, quad core 1.2 gigahertz processor. I have a 32 gig uh, SD card in it, micro SD. It, uh, I don't know its speed, the micro SD. Uh, I got it like two years ago, so I'm not sure. It's probably a little bit lower than the speed that they are producing now for the 32 gigs, which I know is a lot faster than they used to be. Uh, so let's go ahead and just take a look at this. So I have several things installed. Uh, I will show you in later videos the N64 emulator as well as some other games. But for now, we're just going to look at apps that I've gotten to work. I have the drive, Gmail, I love that they, they installed ES File Explorer in the image. What an amazing thing. I have Fallout Shelter back here, which you will see in a later video. And another Gmail. So, let's go ahead and look at some of the apps that I also have. So, Numix is the icons that I am using. It is a icon setup you can go ahead and download for Android and it just gives it that circular look a little simplified feel I really enjoy it personally um, I also have a different theme slash style that controls the the GUI interface for the Android than what they had on the initial video I can hold, click and hold, and slide it like this, or I can just scroll on my mouse. Um, it's called the Apex, that's the, the theme I'm using, and it gives me a little more options within the Apex settings, and that's how I got the Numix um, icons and then several other things. So apps that I've had issues with is Facebook and Messenger, they crash probably the most of anything like I've never seen anything well that's not true the Play Store I had a lot of problems with too but other than that it would be Messenger and Facebook uh, I have uh, Word Docs I guess it would be Google Docs Sheets and Slides Google Music and it's uh, Games I have Spotify, which works great, and Plex server, which is running awesome. Uh, I'm not running the server off of this right now. I would like to build a cluster and run it off of the cluster of Pine64s. That is something that I'm looking forward to trying out in the future. But the server is, it's not even in the same house right now. The server is, um, at another place and it has about 500 movies and this, this is so I'm just going to show you one of the movies I'll just show you a little bit of video play it is 1080p and it is 5.1 sound uh, most of the newer movies that we are adding to it now are all that they're all HDMI or take those as I was saying be because most of them are Blu-ray and we're just uh, ripping them and then putting them onto the server itself um, so I I haven't had any video problems like everybody was worried that you had to have video issues that it wouldn't be able to handle anything but I've watched I've watched Netflix on it recently quite a bit actually uh, and I, I enjoyed it so that's that you can also host the server from your device but I have not done it with this one yet and I will Monster of them, and I get it all set up. 
uh, I do require, if I was going to do that, to have either USB 3.0 or a faster transfer rate for a hard drive. And the only reason is because micro SD cards, if you're trying to go for huge ones, they're expensive. Um, I would need already right now just to put all the movies I have on it over five terabytes worth of storage space. So um, it would definitely need to be a USB 3.0, which I'm using right now on the server and it seems to be working fine. There's Netflix. Uh, I got that working great. Gmail, Drive, OneDrive, or Google Drive. Um, the calendar, Play Store, like I said, had a few issues. It crashes quite a bit when you try to download apps. What I found as a workaround for that is, at least for now, is to tell it to, once I've signed into the device with the Play Store, it gives me the option from my regular computer to just send or install an app onto that device. So I tell it, okay, install this, and it says next time it's available, it will be installed if it's not plugged in. And if it is plugged in, it just starts installing the app on your, your other device. And you can select the Pine64. It, it'll be in the drop-down if you've used that before. Um, there's a few games that I've been testing. Uh, there, I'll show the ones that I have fully working and that I um, have like the controller working well with. I'll also show ones that you won't need a controller for, like Fallout Shelter. Uh, and I will have plenty of emulator games that I'll be showing off as well. If you have any questions for me or would like to see something in particular, uh, just let me know. Uh, sound works great for Spotify and for the Google Play. It just plays straight through. And then you'll have the option right here to pause it on this drop down, which you can drag and pull it down, which is what I was just doing. All right, well, if you have any questions, let me know.